Hello guys, welcome back, welcome back to another video. Welcome back guys, it's a beautiful day. The sun is just beyond that cloud right there and we're having a wonderful day. So guys, I'm excited about this video. Remember, I told you, well, I, I gave you a video of the unboxing, right? The unboxing of my new solar charge control. You know, and my regular viewers, um, remember that, you know, I always tell them that I'm going to add a second solar um, charge controller. Well, guys, like, comment, and make sure you subscribe. Tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend. Peace. It is now added to my system. Right, it is now added to my system and guys, these three solar panels are the original solar panels I have over the many years. As I always tell you that, you know, I use solar to build my house. Well, it's actually these three solar panels and as you can see, right, it's in a different color from, um, from that one over there. So it's one, two, three and I actually connect them guys to the new solar panel, right? So I just come up here to show you. To be honest with you guys, it's not officially done yet but it's presently generating energy, right? So guys, I just, I some was over here, so I have to be careful. So guys, as you can see, I just, you know, barely attach it there. Not originally how it's supposed to be done. You know, um, I need to get back the two ends on this and get it running. But I do something temporary, guys, and of course, I start to use some, some thicker wires, you know, to, actually carry it in. I think I used 8 gauge originally but this is 10 gauge guys and I carry it over through this pipe here all the way there and then it goes back up in there and go down in the house guys. Um, what I did, I just used the original um, grounds right so this is the grounds wire so I just connect it guys to the original uh, grounds I have in that box right i have to be careful because i understand that some was up here guys i came up here the other day and was rush me so so right guys so these are the three panels that i'm using guys listen let me tell you something right um these panels are actually probably about um 10 11 years old and trust me they are still producing guys they are there trust me solar is just the right investment for anyone to meet guys so these three panels is where I'm at now right so these are what I'm using now guys and I'm gonna take you downstairs now for you to see the actual setup of the new solar charge controller guys and it's a 100 amp right guys so guys let's go are you ready guys are you ready to rumble what up guys this is what it looks like this is what it looks like guys i added the next charge controller to my system and this is what it looks like guys wow so guys first and foremost don't let all these wires intimidate your solar is not complicated once you understand the system then you're good to go right guys so so guys this is the this is the charge controller that the three solar panels connect to the pa panels that I have from way back. So, <clears throat> those are the panels. Um, this is the charge controller that the panels connect to, guys. And as you can see, it is doing a fabulous job. But as I say, guys, I'm not yet complete with the system because as you notice, this is for the original um, charge controller, right? A lightning protect. So it would protect this system, but it still don't protect that one. You know, guys, and just goes to show you that, you know, you can start somewhere and then you, you know, add as you go along. So guys, look now. Um, so these are the, um, the wires that coming in from the three panels up the top. And I bring it through this breaker, guys, right? And from this breaker, it come down, right? And it come to the charge controller. Right from this, from the charge controller now, as you can see, I have danger, guys. Let me tell you before I go further. <laughs> I put up this danger card here because, guys, this is my little zone, right? The only zone I'm safe in. Every other zone I go to, <laughs> I get kicked out, right? So my wife and children, they, they, they're kind of scared of this little zone, right? So 
Um, I just take advantage of it, so I just get this little danger sign, guys, right? And I just put it on it, but not really a danger, but you know, I just put it on it to scare them away. So whenever they find my stuff anywhere in the house, guys, they just come and they put it in this little area right here. So this is my little space, guys. So anyway, right, guys, so from the charge controller now, it come to this um, bus bar. Remember this bus bar? When I upgraded the system, I put on these two bus bars. So these are the bus bars. This is the negative and this is the positive. And I didn't have any black wires, guys. So all I did was just um, to, you know, get this wire and I wrapped, wrapped um, the black thing around it, right? So that um, even if you're another, um, you know, technician come, electrician, whatever, they would know that this one now is a negative, right? And this one is the positive. And you see the positive go and I have it to this, um, to this. To this breaker guys and if i flip this switch then if i press down on this guys then it would cut off the current and um, that goes um from the charge controller you know to the to the batteries right so it got through it and i just have it laying around guys so i just you know install it and the system is like um i'd have it now as a just like how i have this breaker i can switch and cut it off from going into the battery then i could do the same there by pressing that you know um yeah so that is that guys and it come back down uh sorry it um positive come down here and the positive end right guys and the negative now come down and come into this um, negative bus bar. And as you can see, the origin for this charge controller, as you, as you all know, this is the positive and it come through this fuse and it come in here. And this is the negative come all the way around here and come back into this negative bus bar. So guys, it's as simple as that. Oh, I did one more changes, guys. I changed the breaker, right? I, I used to have one of these um, 50 amp breaker, right? That controls the um inverter guys so um when i realized that whenever i use like a heavy thing on it like for example i use the um the welding touch you know then guys the welding plant sorry then it would fly the breaker guys so you know i go and get a heavier one so this is a 100 amp right and these are 50 amps so yeah guys that is how i do it for the for the um inverter is 100 amp i use and as you can see guys my batteries are full well, my battery is not full. Yeah, so um, this one is carrying 77 volt and 9.9 .9 amp. And my battery is full, guys. So basically, um, the, the, this way you see the arrow going is just what the host using up, guys. And this battery also um, full, right? My carrying 97 volt, 28 amp. Um, and my battery is full, guys. So whatever coming in, is used the house is using it whatever it don't want it dump <laughs> right guys uh when it start blink but solid guys as you can see it is just trickle charging guys sometimes you just see it come solid and then the next time you will see it so um that's how solar system work you know whatever the battery need then the charge controller supply it whenever the battery is okay then the charge controller put you know the energy different places guys so guys that's it that's it that's it this is my new setup guys and i could let it be less complicated for the viewers in terms of all these wires that you see here right um but you know i'm just want to be transparent so i could get some what i think them call it now uh i'll put the name of it some chunking guys i could you know get some chunking and hide all these wires and when you look it just you know you, you're not seeing most of these wires or none of these wires but um guys it is what it is um i love to see my stuff i think it's more safe us this way you know um more than you putting it into the chunk guys but yeah this is the system guys and it's going on excellent believe me when i tell you it's going on excellent right guys sometimes i even forgot that you know it's so loud i'm using guys because i just come here and everything just normal guys you know so what i do when i come in in the night the first place i always go whenever i'm not too tired even though it's in my house you know so first place i'd go guys is to come and look at my system to see how my system is doing right and then yeah and and guys if you notice um this one is showing me a bit that the batteries need a little top up and at the same time this one is showing full and actually 
is the same charge controller. Don't watch the name on it, guys. If you notice this one, strike out because of the company I bought this one from. I bought this one locally and I bought this one online. So basically it's the same thing, guys, but at times it will show like that. You know, and if you check the parameters, I set all the parameters the same. So I would expect that it would have given me the same, you know, but yeah, if you notice that one drop down a little, just a little, and well, this one is full. But guys, it's neither here nor there. To be honest with you guys, I've never, from a set up this system, guys, even before I add this new charge controller to it, I have never had a, um, a day when I come in and don't have you know electricity and guys believe me i do everything on it everything a thing on it guys right we use the microwave we have free, we have everything like the normal household we wash on it sometimes we cook on it guys we use our iron you know everything that a typical household would have guys we have it on this system so guys yeah man this is just to give you an update as to what is what guys um Guys, you can do it. Believe me, you can do it. I'm not a technical person, right? I never go into a, a classroom to learn solar. I just, you know, when I was building this house, I started to do my research and, you know, I decided that I'm gonna start off on my solar system. And I started pretty small and then I gradually move up, guys. So, so guys, one more thing, guys, one more thing. No, guys, the subscription I moved too slow, man. This is our snail. Come on, guys, y'all need to subscribe to my channel. Guys, what it gonna take for you to subscribe? Subscribe to my channel. <laughs> Come on, guys, subscribe, guys. Like, share, and make sure you comment. You understand? If you don't comment, me gonna make a comment. Guys, subscribe to the channel. Thank you, all my wonderful subscriber. God bless you. As I always said, one love from Jamaica. Peace out, guys, and blessings. Pantapa blessings.